I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with director, writer, actor Chris Baker yes. and Lauren McKinley, actor and producer of the short film Spun. How does it feel to be premiering at the Zero Film Festival at the Drake tonight? Great. Incredibly Great. exciting. <laughs> Very good. good. Yeah, it's nice to be recognized for the work that we did. Good. Yeah. And tell me a little bit about how you came up with this uh, premise for a film about someone finding a lost love on Facebook. <laughs> Well, actually, Chris wrote it, so I'll let him answer. So, yeah, I, I was, um, I reconnected with a friend of mine from high school on Facebook, uh, and we got together for a drink, hadn't seen each other in 10 years, and we were talking about all the things that happened when we were kids, having a big nostalgic conversation. Uh, and I left that, uh, that hangout with that friend thinking, you know, for every great reconnection that there is, like this one with my friend, there must be an equal amount of disastrous reconnections that happen between people who really should not get back in touch, mm -hmm. and yet who probably do. So I started thinking about that and all the people that, you know, who wouldn't I want to see and what would maybe happen if I did? And that's sort of where the idea was born. Have you had any disastrous reconnections, Lauren? Well, actually, it was funny because uh, we were... <laughs> so many. Uh, no, we were uh, chatting this weekend about the film when I was at a Thanksgiving gathering, and everyone was talking about how uh, we all kind of have those, you know, unrequited loves or situations that didn't have any closure in the past and now in this day and age it's so easy with the click of a button to see what people are up to so um, too easy too easy yeah. yes exactly and uh, my my uh, sisters-in-law were talking about how they were shy so there were a couple people that they wished that they had talked to when they were in high school and so I mean it's nice seeing how the story of the film that we just produced and put together um, kind of relates to everyone and how everyone has a story. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And in the film you focus on the adult story but also on the kids as well. That's what I learned from the behind the scenes video. <laughs> so <laughs> what was it like working with the kids on set? Oh, the kids were hilarious. Oh, so they were funny. so funny. And they seemed very mature. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I they mean, they were better spoken than us. Yeah. They were more yeah. articulate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, I mean, they were they were I think like 11 and 12 years old. Yeah. I yeah. think at the time that we shot it, we found them. You know, they're actor. They're all they're all young actors, yeah. uh, getting started in the business, and uh, and they were so fun. They were very professional on set, but they were also just they were really willing to just give things a try. The two two of the kids had to kiss. Yeah. And was it their first kiss? And it was it was their first oh, kiss. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that was the reaction. It was like, ah, but the other one was like, I'm kind of interested, but I'm sort of not interested. <laughs> and then, you know, by the time that it happened, I think we had, we had them do it twice. Yeah. And, and they were they were great. Like, it was so cute and so wonderful. But the yeah. one little girl who was like, I guess she was like 10 or something. She in the in the video, she was like, this is about like unrequited love and and the world today and bullying. And I'm sure it happens at like all high schools. <laughs> and I was like, you're 10. Like, oh, <laughs> that's what we were just talking yeah. about that. Yeah. It's like, Madeline. wow, Madeline's more well spoken than both of us. Yeah. <laughs> Madeline really she she really hit the nail on the head yeah. there for us. Yeah. 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 It's about everything. It's about growing up. It's yeah. about yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Good. And you guys have worked together a lot before. Um, so tell me what do you think is next for this powerful duo? Oh, well, um on the screen a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Sort of well, it's funny cuz we're lucky that we've found a really great partner to be working with consistently and uh, our network and our, our little web has kind of expanded to include a lot of really awesome people that worked on this film as well. So, um, I mean, I'm doing, uh, I'm producing a film by uh, Peter Mabruco, um, who I worked with on the ABCs of Death, and Baker is coming on board for that film, and that's coming up in the winter. And then uh, I also do uh, Women on Screen with uh, Farah Marani, Natalie Lashinska, and Kira Murphy. And uh, Chris's wife is actually one of our writers this year, and Ooh. so we're uh, we're producing and uh, um, developing her film in our short film incubator. So, okay. and he's always been a huge supporter of uh, women on screen. Go women! Yay, Yay women! <laughs> Ooh. Uh, and where's the best place for us to find out more information on Spun and on Women on Screen and all of your other projects as well online? Well, for Spun, you can check out our website at uh, spunshortfilm.weebly.com. Mm -hmm. And for Women on Screen? Uh, women on Screen is just www.womenonscreen.ca. And you can follow us on Twitter at Screen Women. That's uh, Screen W M N. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, and it was great seeing you again, Lauren. Nice to meet you, Chris, and best of luck. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.